my name is Shadow Templar 591 and I am back playing Tomb Raider 1996, the original version. Uh, last time we left off, um, we killed the mother of all uh, abominations. I don't know exactly what those things are called. I'm calling them abominations. Um, we killed, oh, I forget the lady's name. Basically, the main antagonist of this. She's dead. So. Honestly, no love lost there. And we got to about here, and then the game crashed. So, you know. At least we got further. So I'm going to save. Just, just in case it's, uh. Something. Okay, what do we got? So our fire pit was water in it, so we can try to land in that. I am assuming we cannot make this jump. Oh no, we can. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, we're dead. Oh god, I see how this goes. Good thing I saved though. That actually turned out to be a very uh, smart idea. A fruitful endeavor, one may say. Oh, this is a secret. Nice. Oh, ammo. Sweet. I'll take that. I actually need health. Ammo, while I'm, I'm glad to get it, I'm also... Mm, I also feel, too, that uh, if I'm getting ammo, if the game's giving me ammo, there's more fights. So... Why do I... I have a feeling, with that being said, that, uh, that Natalia, I think her name was, may not be as, uh, as dead as I hope she is. There we go. Oh my god, what are we... Ugh. Very, uh, chic, organic setup we got going on. I'm assuming these are all fires. No, they don't start, don't start flames and try to start me on fire. I'm kind of shocked. Anyways, let's grab this ammo. So yeah, um, that happened. Uh, and then I, I, you know, I was actually trying to marathon this to end, to beat this. Um, and then the game crashed and I was like, well, I guess I'm not doing that. I guess the game was like, no, you are not doing it. Oh. Do not like any of this. What is... I think I'm underneath the Sphinx? Or this is... Yeah, I don't like any of that noise. I'm not gonna lie. I think this might be later on. Where I killed the tall guy. The tall henchman, I think he's called. Do I even want to know? Nope. Oh, I definitely nope. 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 Oh. Oh, of course. <sighs> I knew. I kind of had a feeling this. No. You need to. Okay, Th that's done with. <sighs> yeah, I should have realized, you know, that makes sense. I mean, Natalia is one of these abominations, so it would make sense that she can turn it. You can't it. bump off me and my brood so easy, Lara. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? You just ain't gonna... You're gonna give up the ghost, are you? I don't know where she is. Ah. Uh, oh, here she is. I don't even know if I'm hitting her. Am I... 
I can't. I think I'm stuck inside here. So you say I couldn't bump you and your brood off, but uh, you're dead and I'm not, so you know. Is she gonna come back a third time? I really hope not. Is this like a time thing? Like I. Is that why there's so much ammo? The more time I spend here, she just come, come, keeps coming back? Because I do not have the uh, health packs for that, honestly. Unfortunately, because of the uh, game control issues, I uh, kind of had to use a bunch of them. Or I went... Okay. Okay, so I can't get up there. Is that just the explosion from before? I'm... I'm gonna make a force save. Just in case. But yeah. Hopefully she's... stays deceased. Just for the betterment of everyone. Um... I'm sorry, Natalia. Even your own race was like, nah, we're not about this. We might, whatever you trying to do, Natalia, we just not about that life. And respect. <sighs> I think that's from the, uh, what is it? The, uh, Cyclone, I think it, the thing is called. Magic. Oh, <sighs> the magic. Basically, the magic. Uh, magic MacGuffin. We've been trying to get. Finally got. You know, we were trying to get the pieces too throughout this whole thing. But you know, whatever. Time to. Uh, Time to, uh, see what we got. Oh. And actually... There we go. So, we can't go up there. Ah. Let's see. Uh, I think if we... Honestly, I think if we just do a... Jump, we should make it. Yeah, running jump, I kind of figured would be too much. But here, because we have the wall, we should be good for it. Yeah. See, we, yeah. See, we would probably, oh. We would probably overshot it. I'm sorry. Why does she keep jumping? Oh, and she jumped off. Okay, well, <laughs> now we gotta go do this all over again. <sighs> Laura, come on. Why are you doing this? God, this isn't like timed, you know, there's no Russian lava or anything. At least yet, you know. I may maybe I shouldn't say that. I have a tendency of uh saying things like this and then it comes to fruition as if as if the game thinks I'm trying to uh taunt it or something so I'm, I don't know trying to challenge it or something but uh let's try this again Okay. I don't know why I couldn't just jump up, but here we are. Also, let's see again. 
just so I don't have to do that again. Save, save us some time. Ah, uh, I see. We're supposed to get up there. Okay. Uh, what do we got? So we got that. Camera is not being very cooperative. Maybe if we... Okay. There we go. Now that we're away from the wall, it seems to be okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this that one I think I'm gonna do a running jump. Eh. Hmm. And eh, let's do the running jump. Ho oh, ho! Yeah, I had a had a pull up on that one. That was a. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know why she did. I, I think maybe I let go of the jump button by accident at the end. I don't know. Oh well. I mean, I I, I probably could uh, theoretically blame it on the controller and not withstanding all the things that this controller, for whatever reason, has been putting me through. Though, I guess it. <sighs> I guess I have a, a dilemma. Do I do I take this where some of the buttons do don't do necessarily what I want them to do, or do I deal with the other control, which is like, yeah, I'll do what you want want to. Uh, I'll uh, interpret the button button presses exactly, but uh, you know, you're gonna have to uh, deal with me having to like reconnect me every ten seconds, fifteen seconds, and that noise just keep going on so oh that was me that well that one i will take i walked off the edge um and honestly i i'll take this you know because that that was probably that is that was probably both a, as much as annoying for me to hear that and have to do it it's probably was even as i would probably say even more annoying for you guys um just like just grading and I uh, I really apologize for that but uh kind of is what it is at this point I mean we made it I had a backup plan that honestly while not perfect in the sense that it's been flawless uh it's been enough good enough where I've been able to adapt so I cannot necessarily complain too much So, I guess that's where, uh, where we stand, essentially. Okay, so, I guess a good thing has been, I have not got any ammo. I, I haven't got any health pa packs, med packs either, which I'm not necessarily thrilled by, but the new ammo at least leads me to believe that there's going to not be any more fighting. Okay, let's... Now, Laura, we're gonna drop down, because we don't have a lot of health. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just back up, and then we'll do our jump. I'm honestly kind of shocked. This is an interesting aesthetic. Oh, this could be like a semantic thing, like us sliding out and cutscene happens. That'd be kind of cool. That seems what likes going on. Come on. I'm not pressing any button, so hopefully it doesn't crash. Cool.
Fair enough. Oh, wow, Laura, what, uh, what happened to your face? That's just, uh, oof, that was no music? I wonder, I know in a lot of these GOG games, a lot of the music got taken out, so maybe that's what's going on? Um, but while this is going through, well, oh, that's it? I, I swear I didn't press anything, but, um, well, uh, this ended a lot quicker than I thought it was going to, which kind of just annoys me that it crashed and I didn't, I didn't decide to continue, oh, oh, it's a demo mode, okay, um, I didn't continue it, I had to make another episode, but I mean, it is what it is, um, overall, I would say, man, I would say in, at least before the the remix came out. This was probably the definitive way. Um, I would actually probably say, um, like I, I've mentioned, I think a couple times, I'm using Tomb ATI. Um, there's actually Tomb One Main, which is actually better. Um, it's still got some bugs, but as far as like other options and stuff, it's definitely more in depth, more complicated in, in that uh, sense. Um, I really haven't been coming up with a Discord on the collection, so I don't know if that's uh, been better. I know, unfortunately, um, that a company uh, that did the lore, the Tomb Raider collection, um, also did the collection for StarCraft Battlefront, and that did not go too well, though some have speculated that that is because that most of the focus was on Tomb Raider. One thing I will say on the Tomb Raider collection, one thing I will say is because of the way the lighting works, so like as you saw, you've seen in these demos and be playing the game, there's basically what I like to call universal lighting. I don't know what it's called. So everything is automatically lit up and then some things are darker or lighter to show kind of shades um, and shadows and things like that. Uh, but because the collection is m more modern, it uses realistic lighting. But for me, and maybe this is just my nostalgia for this era of games, that kills a lot of, like, the atmosphere. So, like, while technically it is probably closer, like, graphical-wise, lighting-wise, it's probably closer to what the devs have in mind is if you took their, you know, their one-to-one -one mock ups and art, art renders of the levels and the characters and stuff before it had to kind of be... I don't want to say compromise, but um, basically made to fit within the parameters of the PlayStation 1. Um, the limitations of the PlayStation 1. Um, but yet, because of that, like, lore reel looks really good, but the, the environments still keep their, like, jagged, like, almost flat look, texture look. Um, the enemies, like the bear I remember seeing, stuck out really, uh, real bad to me. So there's a, there's a lot of things about it. Maybe I will get used to it, kind of like, kind of like I, I did with the chibi look for the BDSP, um, for Pokemon Brilliant, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, if you don't know that acronym. Um, I said P, not M, just so we're clear. Um, with that being said, would I recommend this, um, this game? Yes. Um, as I say, if you're, if, if you're looking for just, like, the most modern, easiest way to play this, get the collection. That's gonna be the easiest way, but if you have some technical know-how, um, when it comes to this, and you have some nostalgia for these older titles or looks or feel of them. I would go the two uh, one main. Um, that's just me. Um, with that being said, I am going to continue. I am going to do the, um, uh, what is it called? Um, unfinished business. 
uh, the expansion pack, which I think is like four levels. So that shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, too bad. And then after that, I'll probably uh, take a, a little break on Tomb Raider. I don't want to get uh, franchise fatigue from it, but I definitely want to play the second and third one at some point. Um, hopefully that comes to fruition, but, you know, things, things change, things happen. I mean, who knows? Maybe at that point, the collection will get, a, an update or a patch that lets more, gives a, us more options and makes it more closer to what, like, Tomb One Main and other things are. Um, I know, I know you can play, like, they do have the modern mode and the... Uh, older style look, which I always, I always like. I always appreciate when developers put that in. Um, but like, they have the tank controls on the class of few. Like I, why? And that's why I say, hopefully these are the patch because maybe they'll give more mix and match options. Unfortunately, a lot of developers, when they do this kind of stuff, they're very rigid of, okay, this is where, you know, if you're playing in this style with this style, style, this is how you, this must be how you want to play. And don't get me wrong, there's probably a lot of people who have nostalgia for this game who are like, yeah, I want it, you know, just to remember how hard this was and how jinky the uh, tank controls were. I want to play with tank controls. And all the power to you, but there's probably a lot of people who are like, yeah, I like the aesthetic, but I don't like the movement style of the, uh, of the tank control, so, like, give me modern controls with the uh, old aesthetic, you know, and you can't do that in the collection, so, you know, maybe, like I said, I haven't been really keeping up on it, so maybe they released a patch, and that's gonna allow those more options, hopefully they do, um, so I guess to sum it up, this is an easy way to sum this up. If you're not very, um, technical savvy or you, you don't have a PC, you only say have a Switch, get the, get the, uh, the collection. Um, if you do have a PC, you're pretty technical when it comes to setting up these kind of programs. Get the game on GOG. Um, because I don't, A, I don't think it's available on Steam, and B, GOG lets you a lot more freedom when it comes to programs and being able to change things. I get two one in, two, two one main and have have at it. Um, but yeah, with that being said, guys, um, next time we will be playing Unfinished Business. We'll finish up two meta and we'll go from there. And on that note, as always, guys, my name has been Cheddar Templar 591, and have a great day.